These are the holy men whom the Lord chose in his own perfect love. To them he gave eternal glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And good morning and welcome. To all in your homes here in the parish of St. James, as we celebrate this Mass on the feast day of two of the Apostles, St. Simon and Jude. Uh, they were first of all disciples, um, learners and followers of Jesus, and after a night in prayer, Jesus called them to be part of the 12, the 12 apostles. So we ask for the assistance of their prayers in our own uh, faith journey, that we too are disciples called to follow the Lord and to learn from the Lord, but also called to be apostles. Uh, that the good news we have isn't something to hold on to, but to share with others. So we ask for the assistance of the prayers in heaven for, of Saints Simon and Jude to help us. To prepare ourselves for this celebration of the Eucharist, we call to mind our saints. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you can't come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have, mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. We give glory to God as we pray. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Simon and Jude that the Church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord in him you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. The responsorial psalm, their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word today and night to night imparts the knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he named apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who is called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Who are the people in your life that have had the most influence uh, upon it and upon yourself? And especially in people that have had such an important role and influence in your faith journey. Those are what we would call people that are the foundation of our lives. Some of those may have already gone on from this earthly journey and passed over to the next life. Some, thankfully, are still with us, continuing to be very positive role models and good influences in our life in general, but in a special way in our faith and our spiritual formation. Their parents, their grandparents, a teacher, friends, a neighbor, a fellow parishioner. And I am thinking of that for my own self today, to kind of think about those individuals today. Be thankful for them, 
and for those who have passed on to pray for them. When St. Paul wrote his letter to the church at Ephesus, a portion of it that we are hearing in this Mass today, he uses that term of the foundation and he speaks of the apostles and the prophets. He says, they are, you are built upon the foundation that they have laid for you and indeed that they have laid for us. They are foundational, important people upon which the structure is built. And Paul then goes on to say something so important that important as all of those foundational people are in our lives, and they are. But he says, it is Christ Jesus himself who is the capstone, and he is the one through whom the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. That's church. It's the Lord's temple, not the buildings, though the buildings remain an important part of how we see ourselves and how we come together to be church and to pray together and to worship. But it's much more than our beautiful buildings. It's the people. It's all of us. It's you and me built upon the foundation that others have laid for us, certainly the apostles, all of the marvelous men and women that the church has sainted over the centuries, down to those individual important people in each of our lives who have helped us to grow in faith, and they have been great models, good examples for us. But yet it is Christ who must remain at the center of our own individual life and collectively that Christ remains at the center of how we live as church as God's children, as God's people, and continue each day through our prayers and our works of service and good deeds that we, with God's grace and the help of the Holy Spirit, continue to grow into that temple that is sacred in the Lord and sacred to the Lord. Let us in this Mass pray for that grace and for all the help that we need to be the temple of God. As we gather together today with confidence in the Father's love, we bring our needs to him. For church leaders, may God grant ample wisdom, patience, and love for all who lead the people of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For civil authorities, May God grant them compassion and wisdom in their decision-making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our loved ones who suffer in mind, body, or spirit, may Christ's healing hand rest upon them and bring them relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
for all members of this community. May the love of Jesus flow through us to one another in small and large ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the beloved dead and for those who have no one to mourn their death, may they soon be welcomed into the fullness of the kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our own personal intentions. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me and all of us from our sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for praise, the praise and glory of his name, name for our good and good of all his holy church. church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, <clears throat> he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, 
saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, with Simon and Jude, with the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray, O Lord, to advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. The body of Christ. Amen. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray the prayer for the Safety of all of the healthcare workers. Loving God, we place into your care all our doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers. Give them courage of heart and strength of mind and body. Keep them safe from harm. May they know our deep gratitude for all they are doing to heal and help those affected by the coronavirus. God, all consolation. May they know your protection and peace. Bless them in these challenging days and bless their families. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.